Hey, my name is uh, Boxcore, and uh, I'll be bringing a little walkthrough, initial walkthrough actually, of uh, EA's Death Bank. Kind of like a Let's Play without the commentary. Don't really have uh, enough subs to uh, justify talking to myself, so uh, it's commentary free. But uh, feel free to uh, rate, sub, comment, and uh, enjoy. The world almost ended once. It is a story I need to tell before I grow too old to remember. It is a story of a man, some called a curse, and others called a hero. But a man they all called Death Spank. Foretold of his destiny to possess a powerful artifact, only known as the Artifact, Death Spank dedicated his life to becoming a hero to the downtrodden. A vanquisher of evil, and a dispenser of justice. To becoming a hero worthy of the power of the artifact. To becoming the hero of his destiny. I'll begin my tale at the doorstep of the demon witch Miss Haven stands. Led there by a guide too smart to go any further. Death Spank clutches in his hand the final clue in a life's journey paved in blood and steel and bacon. A journey that will finally lead him to the artifact. Or so he was told. If I am slain in combat, I will automatically resurrect at the center. <laughs> Use weapons of justice, those purple weapon thingy. <laughs> Greetings, Demon Witch Havenstens. I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil, dispenser of justice, and I have come for the artifact. No need for the introduction, Deathspank. I know who you are. Hey, wait a second. You're a witch! Well, duh! Did you not yourself refer to me as Demon Witch? I thought that was your name, and, well, you know, that maybe your parents were actors or something. And I'm starting to think your parents were siblings. Tell me the location of the artifact, Demon Witch. I hid it deep in the demon mines. I placed a powerful magic seal before the artifact. I've never met a magic seal I couldn't open. 
You will never break that seal. Not without my help. But aren't you the one who magically sealed the artifact deep in the demon minds in the first place? That was just a job I was paid to do. Who paid you to hide the artifact? I don't know. Some woman, I think. I seem to remember her having red hair. Was she about five foot six and wearing a suit of armor? I guess. She didn't really make much of an impression. Uh huh. Did she also have a pair of chainmail boots on? Now that you mention it, I do remember thinking that she had excellent traction. <sighs> Did she speak in a mean, lecturing tone of voice? Goes on and on. I think she said she preferred the term eloquent. Oh, great. It's. Her again. What ungodly price must be paid to unseal the artifact? My poor darling dragon hatchlings are being attacked by a pack of vicious chickens. I want those chickens taken care of violently. Bring me their lips as proof of their demise. Do chickens even have lips? Of course they do. How else do you expect them to whistle? Ah, good point. Greetings, Demon Witch. I have your lips, Demon Witch. Well, not your lips. The lips you requested from the vicious chickens. Ah, my poor darlings will finally be able to sleep again. Now, I was going to grind your bones into a nice stew. But I actually feel a tinge of gratitude for your help. Yeah, I get that a lot. I will now help you get the artifact. But first, I need some ingredients to break the spell. I require some hair of the pixies, bright red demon imp horns, and a crystal shard from the slime pits. I don't know what you're cooking, Demon Witch, but it sounds delicious. I'm making a special magical crystal for you, but you'll have to venture beyond my gate to acquire the items I need. Let me open it for you. Leveling up is a happy time in a growing adventurous life.
Your map is... Well, it's a map. Yep. Sometimes head injuries can... Greetings, heroic-looking traveler. I am Deathspank. Yeah. Me and the whole forest heard it when you were telling the demon witch. Do you need any justice served? Why, yes, I do. Well, I was fishing down at the lake, minding me own business, when out of nowhere, a bunch of bloodthirsty greens took over the entire beach. As I ran for my life, I forgot me beloved tackle box. I'll grab your tackle box with ease, fisherman. Oh, thank you, Deathspunk. 